And I believe our guest is called her name right now. I don't know if this is Brianna or Maggie or both. Yep. It's actually both of us. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. Well, hi, hi, hi to you both. Uh, <laughs> how y'all doing? So, oh, we're doing wonderful. Uh, we're good. How are you? I'm doing real good, and I do want to thank you both for being on the show. And as I was saying uh, a little bit earlier on the show, it's not often that I interview someone and then I interview them a month after the first time around. <laughs> but Brianna, yeah. but, I, I'm but, glad to be here. Glad to be back. And um, it was a great interview. So we had to come back for our double trouble interview. Of course. <laughs> double. We do things best that way. Double trouble. Oh man, this is gonna be a good one. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with you, uh, Brianna, uh, and pretty much ask you how have you been since the last interview? What you've been up to? Well, I've been really, really busy as always. I'm great. First off, um, I want to say hello to all my fans and followers out there. You guys can all ask me questions, tweet me, Brianna underscore Jordan. Um, but yeah, I'm great. I'm just, I did a, a big fitness shoot out in Arizona for a company, um, that is up and coming. Um, they've actually been established on the website, their website, aziani.com for a really long time. And that's where I did some of my first adult work and they're doing a fitness site. So I shot for them last week and I've just been really good trying to stay out of this Vegas heat, it's like 118 degrees. It's crazy. Yeah, everybody, I think everyone on the East Coast is pretty much suffering that same fate. And um, <laughs> I know, I heard that there's like records breaking everywhere, and in Chicago, it was like, like really I don't know, bad hundreds. in Michigan. Really? Oh my gosh. Yep. Yeah. It's I, haven't got, I haven't had a chance to catch up with Maggie in a couple of weeks, so it's a good time for us to catch up. All I know is is out, <laughs> all I know is out here in Kentucky we are uh, got uh, hundreds. It's like Arizona out here. Yeah. It's like a East Coast yeah, version of possible. Arizona. Uh, look, I'm, I love there, man. I love the heat, <laughs> just not that much. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, um, me too. I don't like the humidity, and we're getting a lot of that in Michigan. It's just nasty. Well, that just means that we have, you know, to take it all off and wear less clothes. <laughs> there you yeah, go. Yeah, there's been a lot of nudity in my house this past week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm not there to see it. What the hell? Now that I think of... Or play with your big boobies. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I'm going to see you in a couple weeks, so... I you know. Like booby fix. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, she's talking about our AdultCon appearance. We're going to be at AdultCon July 27th, 28th, and 29th. So everybody has to come on out, meet us it's in a, person. It's in L.A. at the convention center, and we're going to be there and uh, wearing we're gonna be clothes. We're going to be there wearing hardly photos. anything. <laughs> <laughs> you can get pictures, on pictures Exactly. Get our DVDs where you can't get them anywhere else. All kinds of fun stuff. And uh, Maggie, since this is your first time on the show, I want to talk to you a little bit and uh, talk a little bit okay. about yourself and uh, how did you got this started. This is her first radio interview at all, Kenny, so you're popping her cherry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It is. I don't, I've don't. i never been on the radio before. It's, you know, a new experience. <laughs> so, but yeah, I've been doing um, adult modeling for... It's been a while. I've been doing it for about eight years, but I really didn't get too much into it until the past, oh, four years. And I have my website, MaximumMaggie.com. And I also, I'm on webcam a lot. I love to do live shows with all my fans. Um, and that is on MaggieGreen.CamModels.com. I'm on there almost every day, so... You'd have to come see me go look at my big G-cut boobies. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely have been on there and seen a couple shows, guys, and it's well worth the visit. <laughs> so, 
It's, you know what she's talking about. It's <laughs> definitely worth the uh, the uh, checking out. Um, you and, and why don't you go ahead and schedule? Why don't you go ahead and schedule? Uh, talk uh, ske talk about the dates that that you do your cam shows. Oh wow, I'm on. You know, I'm really usually online um, almost every single day from around. I don't know. The times vary. Um, usually 2 p.m. Eastern time. You know, till about I don't know 5, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And it varies. The best way to find out is um, follow me on Twitter, and it's at Maximum Maggie. And I'm always tweeting when I go on cam or anything like that. Um, so, you know, whenever the mood strikes me to masturbate, I just turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> that happens a lot, so... <laughs> All I can say is I um I feel bad for my co-host Jeff and uh he and I think the first time I interviewed you Brianna he wasn't there he had something he had to attend to and now here we are a month later I'm interviewing <laughs> you and again he's not here he has something to attend to um he's missing out I'm interviewing a fetish model and an adult film model at the same damn time and you know he, <laughs> he would have gotten a kick out of this but uh, I'm I guess I'm one lucky very one lucky guy um, not guess I know I am lucky <laughs> <laughs> so um, now y'all got the adult com, uh, appearance coming up uh, do you both have anything else in the works individually and uh, together uh, well, we definitely do a lot of work together. Our fans that have known us for a long time, they can see all of our work on both of our websites. We love working together. I mean, from the first shoot that we did together, we didn't know each other, and we met her as a <laughs> friend. We actually met on Twitter, funny enough, and after that first shoot, like, we got so close so fast. She's a blast to work with. We have so much fun when we work together, when we're shooting, even if we're, like, in a shoot, not shooting together, but, you know, in the same, you know, house or whatever that we're shooting in the same day, we just have a blast together. So they will always see uh, Maggie Green and Brianna Jordan together on both of our websites. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, uh, we have, uh, always have lots of good scenes coming out with the two of us. And we do have fun. We definitely, there's even a lot of blooper, bloopers that we put up because <laughs> we get to laughing so hard. <laughs> we have a lot of blooper films because we just have so much fun together. It's like hilarious. Maggie's a comedian, for those of you that don't know. Okay. It's hilarious. And the things that come out of her mouth when we're like right in the middle of the scene just crack me up. And my uncontrollable giggles, it just gets both of us started and then it's crazy. <laughs> Now uh, back to you, yeah. back to you, Maggie. Uh, as far as your camp shows is concerned, what has been the craziest request that you have gotten from a listener that wants you to? Uh, as far as you do the private camp shows for those who want to pay a little extra, uh, but what has been the craziest? Yeah. What has been the craziest thing that a, a, a listener has ever wanted you to do? Oh, wow. There's been a lot, but I would say probably um, the one that was the most out there was a guy who had a fetish, like, about being a baby, and he wanted to um, put on a diaper and turn on his webcam and have me be his mommy. And, uh, yeah, I kind of laughed. And I just, I couldn't really go along with that one. <laughs> wow. I, I get all kinds of weird, um, weird, weird requests. I have one guy who wanted me to just put the camera up to my armpits for five minutes at a time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> whatever he was thinking about the armpits, I don't know. I was glad I saved them that day, but... Um, it's very interesting, <laughs> but most of the most of the requests are, you know, um, more on the normal side. 
<laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I don't do CAM very often. I do it for my um, website members only. So I do a CAM show once a week. So I don't feel like I get that many crazy requests on CAM. <laughs> yeah. But it's funny to always hear her stories. Arm, <laughs> armpits and a diaper. Um, um, <laughs> that's, that's very odd. Yeah, you, you would be surprised what gets some people off. Well. <laughs> Everybody has their own thing, I guess. Well, yeah, yeah, they they sure do. Well, now that you mentioned, I mean, you got this beautiful, gorgeous Maggie Green right in front of your <laughs> webcam, and, and her big boobs, and her physique, and her smile, and her sex appeal, and and armpits, and diapers. I mean, you could <laughs> you could have gone what you couldn't do masturbation you could have done uh rubbing out or something you had to go with a diaper and i mean it's i mean i think i can understand the whole baby thing but you know like what if it's a naughty baby and needs a spanking but as far as putting right. a diaper on i don't know <laughs> yeah i mean you know i've seen documentaries about that fetish and you know yeah that's fine it just it, it kind of threw me off guard i just uh i started laughing and then you know they ask oh are you gonna can you pee or poop and I, half the time i think that's just like people um i often wonder if there's you know like teenagers getting on there and messing around and being stupid but who knows people do have those fetishes <laughs> That's true. Okay, Maggie, so out of all of the many, many fetishes out there, what would turn you on the most? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I kind of like it when you dominate me and tie me up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I definitely love that. I and guess that's crazy. another thing. Yes, we have our, um, our set that we shot with the very well-known photographer Ken Marcus. And he is really well known in the fetish and Dom world. And Maggie and I have a set coming out on both of our sites with a really amazing um, video that was shot. And that's coming out. When is it coming out, Mag? I think it's September. Yeah. Yeah, September. I think we need to decide a date. Yep. Yeah, yeah but Diana pretty much makes me her bitch. <laughs> 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 yes, I do, and she's really good at obeying me <laughs> and making me come. I'm going to force feed her my pussy next time I see her. <laughs> <laughs> you won't even have to force it. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> You're forced yeah, we'll, away. Probably, we'll probably do a live show together when we see each other at the end of the month, so you guys can stay tuned for that. Yeah, for sure. Um, I have some questions coming in on Twitter because I let everybody know that we're doing this. Um, oh, go right ahead. Go right ahead. All for uh, Twitter participation. Go right ahead. Yes. Twitter people for Danny, he's asking both of us, what is the most memorable part of your career so far? So I'll let you go first, Danny. What's the most memorable part of your career? Memorable part. I have to say it was going to the island of St. Martin with the score group to shoot there. They took me there for five days and stayed at this amazing house and I got to do um, a scene with the very lovely Angela White and uh, some other scenes as well. But that was amazing to be in paradise like that. And they even gave me a day off, so I had a day to hang out at the beach and uh, that was definitely a big perk as far as being a, a porn person. <laughs> that is awesome. That is so cool. I was going to say something along the same lines. As many of you know, I went to um, Europe for the first time in April, and it was a trip for work. So I got to um, not only go out there and shoot for a couple of weeks, but I also had a little mini vacation. So it was amazing. I saw so many just really cool things, a lot of art history, and being able to work out there and to have the entire trip taken care of uh, from modeling was just really cool. I think we talked about that cutting in the first interview. That was one of the probably the best experiences in my modeling career. 
And uh, I do have uh, a comment from my friend Andrew Bronin Master. I'm going to start calling him the compliment guy because that's what he always does <laughs> as pertains to the female guests that we have on the show. And he goes on to say that you both sound cute and they're beautiful. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to refer to Andrew as the complimenty guy because, you know. <laughs> You know, I thought, you know, he, he... Well, compliments are never a bad thing. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Um, now, you both have worked yeah. with fetish models, and you both worked with adult film models. What do you like the most about, um, well, should I say, how do you handle working with a fetish model or an adult film model, someone out of the element? I mean, I really feel like it just depends on the model. Every situation is different, and your chemistry with each person is going to be different just because, you know, your chemistry with someone else is going to be, you know, it really just depends on how you guys interact together. But I've really not had very many bad experiences, like one or two bad nuts in the bunch, and I felt like I've been pretty lucky. So for me, it's yeah, Same here. Same here. I, you know, I'm trying to think of a time... I haven't really worked with anyone that was out of their realm too much. I did work once with a girl who had never done anything before and really didn't know what she was getting herself into. Oh, and no. had a little bit of a panic attack. And um, it ended up being okay, but she definitely was not prepared for, like... I mean, we were doing a lesbian scene, and they got to the part where they said that she would take her shirt off, and she freaked out. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so it was like, what? it was a little strange, but Aww, poor girl. I just tried to talk, you know, <laughs> I just tried to be nice, and it ended up being okay, and, and it, was, it ended up being fine, but... Well, I think that you're very comfortable to work with. I think the first time that you and I met, I don't, I feel like I haven't, at that time, I didn't do that many girl-girl scenes, and, like, my first one ever was with Joanna, and that's actually who introduced us, Joanna Jensen, and, um, yeah, it made me feel so comfortable. Like, I was really nervous, like, oh, my God, what if this girl rapes me, like, crazy? What if it's not cool? <laughs> but it was cool, and I was really happy by the end that she was raping me at the end of the shoot, so it was <laughs> Yep, it was. It was, it was. <laughs> <laughs> now she's been raping me ever since. Vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> now, now if you if you two can have a three way with any fetish model or an adult model, uh, it could be anyone. It could be fetish, adult film, male, female. Who would that person be? Oh man, yeah. You know I. I feel like I've been really lucky to work with everyone that I've wanted to work with. Um, I don't really, I'm pretty selective with who I decide to, to work with. So I don't work with anybody that I don't want to. And the people that I do, I ask them, you know, do you want to work together? And if it's not like with another company, if it's just like for my website or their website, then it, it pretty much works out. So I don't feel like, I don't know. That's a hard question. Hmm. There's so many. There's just so many to choose from. There are, I don't know, one woman I've always had a fantasy about is, Ooh. of course, infamous Jenna Jameson. <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh no. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having a piece of that. <laughs> yeah, she's gorgeous. Very pretty. Yeah. She was probably, I mean, the first, like, porn that I really watched as an adult was her. <laughs> She's just so sexy, so. Yeah, she would probably be her. Now, now, the last time I talked to Brianna, uh, she mentioned a little bit about this contest that's going on. I think it's the Calm Online contest, and it, it features you, Brianna, and it features you, Maggie. And I want to get your uh, a, a thoughts on it. Uh, well, the winner can get an all expense trip to see you two ladies and spend some time with each other. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, that from your side. Well, it's yeah. very fun. It's, it's, 
so oh, exciting. Oh, Hold Maggie. <laughs> sorry, I know it's hard because we're not all sitting in the same room, so it's hard to know when each other's going to talk. Um, right. But it's come see you M on live, like live show, and it's comeonlive.com. The contest is going to be starting in August. We're doing some promotions for it now to get everybody excited and get their cocks nice and hard. But what it is is you guys are going to be able to enter into this contest, and the winner is going to be flown out to Las Vegas, where I live, and Maggie's going to be here with me. We're going to do um, dinner, all three of us together. You're going to be picked up in a limo. It's going to be all taken care of. You don't have to worry about any expenses. Your hotel's paid for, and we're also going to go to a nightclub afterwards. It's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait to do this, and I know Maggie's really excited, too. Yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a blast, whoever the lucky guy is. <laughs> that wins. Uh, Yay. Yeah, Brianna and I, you know, I know you guys can tell and you know, we're actually very good friends. You know, we have a lot of fun, and it's just going to be a riot. Whoever wins is going to have a very, oh, very a memorable, <laughs> memorable time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna go down in history for sure. It's gonna be so much fun. Yeah, the contest is, starts in August, I believe, and then right, I believe the event will take place in September sometime. I don't know. Yeah, if you know. yeah, it will. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah, it'll be at the end of September when the actual, um, I guess, party day goes down. Yeah. <laughs> All I can say is, by talking to you ladies, if me talking to you ladies is any indication, just imagine how it's going to be when the winner of this contest see you two in person, in the flesh, and it's going to be, <laughs> and it's going to be a couple of days that they would never forget. Like they said, the competition begins at uh, August. Sign up, comeonline.com. For a chance to win a all expense trip to spend time with two of the sexiest models in the adult film and fetish department, Brianna Jordan. You got the nice figure and you got the big girl and Maggie Green. So you get you get a best of both worlds, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the best of both worlds. Uh definitely. Get it all wrapped into one, so everybody go check that out. Um, I gotta say, it was, I, I'm so happy to have you on the show, Maggie. I'm happy to have you back on, Brianna. Y'all have been probably two of my favorite guests in 2012 <laughs> thus far. Oh, well, that's so sweet. Awesome. We're so happy to be here. Thanks for having us. Well, yeah, thanks for popping my radio interview, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> you are so it's been welcome. Fun. Yeah. Before I let you go, and uh, Maggie, I want you to do this for me. Uh, it's like a station ID. It's like a voice drop. Brianna has done it before. I'm just going to explain how it goes. Okay. It's like a station ID. It's like a voice drop. All you have to do is say your name. And what after you say your name, you say you are chilling with Jeff and Kenny C. Chilling with Jeff and Kenny C. Yes, you can say it normal. You can say it sexy or whatever floats your boat. <laughs> okay, tell me when you're ready. Go on right it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need Bianca to do this again too. <laughs> okay. All uh, right, Maggie, you go first. Okay. I'm Maggie Green, and I'm chilling with Jeff and Kenny C. That is sexy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, Brianna, you go right ahead. Okay. This is Brianna Jordan, and I'm chilling with Jeff and Kenny C. That's what you call sexy people. Um, everybody, <laughs> check how out. How you got to do it. That's how we get down. Don't forget, people, Double Down in Vegas with Brianna and Maggie Green. Woo, woo, woo. Absolutely, <laughs> and uh, check out the websites, BriannaJordan.com. And, Maggie, your website Ow. is? It's MaximumMaggie.com. 
and you can follow them on Twitter under Brianna underscore Jordan and uh, Maximum Maggie. Uh, check them out. Follow them both. Check out the contest. Check out their websites. Check out their Twitters. Just check out everything. Um, check us out, boys. We have a lot to offer. Let me tell you. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> I'm. And come meet us in person. And I really want to meet everybody at AdultCon. I'm so excited to meet the fans. Oh uh, yes, AdultCon yeah. is coming up as well. They both will be there. You can take pictures and autographs, and a lot of big names in the adult and fetish community will be there as well. So go check it out. Um, yeah, we're the most important ones, Kenny. Come on. Yes, you <laughs> adult com featuring Brianna and Maggie. How about that? Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have the there big city committee, the big city committee consists of Maggie, Chase Stevens, and myself. So all three of yeah. us are gonna be there signing. Well, you I'll, won't miss us if you walk in that room. It'll be three pairs of giant tits. So. Yeah, <laughs> quad city titties. The greatest <laughs> ever. The greatest ever. Uh, no doubt about it. All right, Kenny, it. thanks so much for having us, and yeah, well, thank this you. Is cool on, for sure. Thank you both for being on. You ladies are so welcome to come back. <laughs> and, All right, and maybe, we'll talk to you later, Kenny. And maybe when, when, when y'all come back, we can recap the online contest and what Willie went down, get the juicy stuff and everything, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was great. All right, Penny, we'll talk to you later. All right, you too. Have a good okay, night. Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye, Kenny. Bye. That was Brianna Jordan and Maggie Green.